little bit of lag in the in the chipping uh, helps me create a little bit more speed and a little bit more spin throughout the ball throughout the shot and then as you're consistently accelerating through the ball it's pretty hard to chunk it I mean unless you're gonna jab it into the ground but as long as you're going all the way through the golf ball it should look something like that All right, guys, I'm out here with my main man, Zach, and uh, he's taking me out to this little short game area at Santa Anita, and I don't think this is generally open, but since Zach's uh, a soon-to-be pro with connections, he's getting us out here. <laughs> so, so anyway, he's gonna help me work on some stuff, and uh, you know, as you guys all know, this is uh, where the scoring happens, and that's what I'm trying to do is uh, get my game shaped back up. So we'll see how this goes. Do you practice with uh, balls that spin or with just any old range ball? I like to practice with the ball that I'm typically going to be playing with. Um, you get the feel of it, you get the softness of it, you can really see how the ball is going to react off the club and when it hits the green. With range balls, I used to um, if I was just hitting you know, a bucket and trying to get distance down, but more so now it's more in the fact of feel for me. Just hold it off yeah it's almost it's basically like you this is it's really important to stay compact really you really everything gotta, everything I'm learning from you it's like I'm I'm really hearing that a lot everything you have to I mean that's the entire golf swing you know it's the same thing you bring it back straight straight back in one line but what happens is when you when you hold it off like that you're gonna obviously on these type of short shots you're gonna come in more direct so the ball is gonna pop up in the air mm -hmm. instead of more shallow so you come more direct, but when you come down, look where the club face is. You're almost helping it up in the air. And that's gonna create, you're not to hit the ball as far, but you're gonna be able to get the ball up higher. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of... Wow. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's above my pay grade. Yeah, there you go. It's all feel. I mean, it's all gonna be. Uh, you gotta learn how the ball's gonna come off the club. You gotta feel how your club reacts in the sand. You know? So this chunk and run idea that I hear about—it's almost like I want to hit it, enter it there. So I'm gonna have sand get in between the club and the ball. So you're like throwing the sand. Where yeah, you exactly. Want. It's not going to spin. It's just going to roll. But I need to get my distance control down on that. Is there left? Do you, uh, is it not as wide open? No. Yeah, I just play it more direct. There you go. And that's going to allow me to get to back pin locations too. Accelerate through the shot, even though it's scary. Cool, very cool. Cool. There we go. I may have found it a little bit. Like those shots, I know I can make with my putter. You know, every single kind of sand cut <coughs> into each different types of. It, uh, like. Something that was key for me, and you know, falling in love with getting better in the short game. I was watching a video of Jason Day saying, uh, "You got to fall in love with the process of getting better." And what he means by that is, each day goes on. You go out here and you practice, and you see yourself succeed, and you see yourself getting better. 
and that's what he enjoyed in himself of he didn't have anybody out there to watch him he didn't care that people were watching him he was just what made him most happy was him getting better and better day by day it's all about feel because once you keep it's like it's you know all those pros are all robots they hit the ball in the same spot of the club every time they know exactly how the ball is going to come off and that's what we're trying to get to you hit the ball in the club and you know exactly how it's going to come off and how it's going to react one hole Hey guys, so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be. Thank you.